What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Kirk and today we're going to be talking about the Samsung 860 Evo SSD drives within the Ursa Mini Pro G2's SSD card reader. So this is a card reader which sits on the back of the camera. It's an additional accessory but it allows you to record to SSD media by simply sliding in the media on the back. So it's a really nice form factor. I mentioned in another video that it helps the weight ratio of the camera for the easy rigging. But like all things in life, nothing is perfect. And throughout the course of the last two years of recording Blackmagic raw footage through this SSD reader, we've had two of these cards corrupt on us. Now as a filmmaker, there is nothing worse than getting back to the office thinking that your precious footage on all of these drives is gone and you might have to go and reshoot. But the question is what can you do when one of these cards corrupt on you and the camera tells you that you need to reformat it in order to use the card again. So in my experience with these Samsung 860 drives corrupting is there's really three things that you need to do. The first thing that you need to do as soon as the camera tells you that the card is corrupted, potentially you are trying to record a file or you're trying to write a file or you were writing a file and the camera was turned off or power was removed somehow, it could cause a corruption on your card. The first thing you need to do is pull the card out and do nothing else with the camera. The camera will often tell you that you need to reformat the card in order to keep using it again. But if you go through that reformatting process, you definitely do risk losing your footage. So the first thing that you wanna do is remove the card from the camera and plug it straight into your computer. So the second thing that you wanna do is plug these drives into a computer and run a first aid repair on the drive through the disk utility on a Mac based operating system. Now even though the camera doesn't recognize it and says it's corrupted, it should be able to mount onto your computer. Once it's mounted, open Disk Utility and click the first aid icon for this drive. In my experience, with corrupted cards from the Ursa Mini Pro G2's SSD card reader, is that the first aid repair opens up the lock on the card and it allows you to access your footage over again. So obviously once you've run that first aid repair and have access to your data, you wanna back that up and keep it safe. Number three, I would then grab this card and reformat it for the camera and run extensive tests on this card. Sometimes cards are just faulty and you really want to make sure that these cards aren't the problem and that it was some other type of glitch. So what I like to do when an SSD card fails on me is to completely reformat it within the camera and run a whole range of recording tests using the uncompressed formats that Blackmagic RAW offer you in the Ursa Mini Pro G2 and just run them for 20, 30, 45 minutes to make sure that the read and write of this card has no problems. So I really hope that if you have lost some footage on these SSDs that the first aid repair does help you your mileage may vary, of course, but hopefully that was helpful and that it will save your butt in the future. Now this whole experience for me raised a whole lot of questions around the Ursa Mini Pro G2. Is it reliable? Should I be using CF or SD cards instead of these SSDs within the card reader? Should I be using a different camera system altogether? I think what I've concluded is I'm pretty happy with the risk ratio of these corrupted cards. As I mentioned, the cards twice have corrupted on me, but I haven't lost footage because I was able to get them back through the first aid repair. But I understand this doesn't give a lot of confidence using this camera not knowing whether the cards are gonna corrupt on you. And so I've simply just built into my workflow a few extra redundancies that I can utilize when using this camera on really mission critical shoots. And that is partly the reason why we have so many of these Samsung Evo drives. So if we're shooting a documentary, for example, that has some really important interviews that we might not be able to reshoot, what I'm going to do is shoot a single interview on a single card. So I might have five or six interviews in one sitting or in one day with the Ursa Mini Pro as the ACAM. And so I'm just going to use six of these cards and shoot a single interview on each of these for redundancy. I don't wanna risk shooting four or five interviews on one card and on the sixth interview, the card corrupting on me. So that's something you could build into your workflow. The second thing I like to do is as soon as that interview's finished, I like to give it to the assistant to back up on the computer straight away and make sure that in that one sitting or that one set, 
that we have everything backed up before we leave set in case we do need to reshoot anything. And that's the beautiful thing about these Samsung Evos is because they're so cheap, in New Zealand they're less than $100 for a 500 gig drive. You can afford to buy a stack of these instead of spending all your money on one or two really specific cards such as the Angel Birds, which are four times the price of these. I'd love to know what you think about all of this. If you've had experience with SSD drives failing on you with the Ursa Mini Pro G2, please let me know. Drop a line in the comments and let's have a conversation about what people do in these sorts of situations. Please subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more of these videos and we'll see you in the next one.